Patrick's affiliate spirit to Santi. Amen. Intro Ivo Avaltari Dei. Jura Kame Deus et Te Sherne Causa Meum, De Gente Non Sancta, A Fomine, Iniquo, et Deloso Eruame. Imite Luciam Tuam et Veritatem Tuam, Ipsame De Duxorant, et Aduxorant in Manta Sancta Tuam, et in Tabernacula Tuam.
Dominus Vobiscum. Oremus. Margire quesumus Domine, fidelibus tuis indulgentiam, peccatus et pacem, ut pariter ab omnibus mundentur offensis et secura tibi mente de servia, per Dominum nostrum Jesum Christum filium tuum. Qui peca viva renanit tati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio Epistole de Lacte Pauli Apostoli ad Ecclesius. Fratres, videte comodo caute ambudites non crese incipientes, sed ut sapientes remedientes tempus, ponian dies male sunt. Properia nolite fieri, imprudentes sed intelligentes qui quae sit vol voluntas dei, et alite in ebriabri vino in quo est luxuria, sed in pleamini spiritus sancto, loquentes vobismet ipsis in salmis et hymnis et canticus spiritualibus cantantis et sal salentes in cordibus vestris, domino. Gracias a gentis semper pro omnibus in Domine nomini nostri Jesu Christi. Deo et patre, patri subjecti in dicem in timore Christi. Apoli omnium in te sperante Domine, et tu das ilis estam in tempore opportunum, aperis tu man, manu tuam et impres omne animal benedictione. Alleluia, alleluia, paratum or meum Deus, paratum or meum, cantabo et salmum tibi, gloria me, alleluia. Dominus Vobiscum, Sequentia Sancti Evangelii Secundum Ioannum. In illo tempore erat quidam regulus coius filius infirmabatur Capharnum, hic et cum audicet quia Iesus ad ven eret et iudee in Galileum, abit ad eum et rogabat eum ut descenderet et sanaret filium eus, incipievat enum mori. Dixit ergo Iesus ad cum, nisi signa et prodigia venderitis non credis, dixit ad eum regulus, Domine, discende prius quam moriatur filius meus, dixit ad e Iesus, vade, Filius tuos videt, predidit homo sermoni clem dexit e Iesus, et ibat iam autem eo descendent te servi octur re rund, e et nuncia verunt dicentes quia filius eus videret, in interrogabit ergo horam ab eus, in que melius habu evit et dixerunt ei, quia here hora septima relinquit eum teberis, coniovit ergo pater quia illa hora erat, in quia dixit ei Iesus, filius tuos vive, et credit ipse et domus eus totum.
epistle to the Ephesians, Brethren, see to it that you walk with care, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of your time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not become foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, for in that is debauchery. But be filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father, be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. A continuation of the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, there was a certain royal official whose son was lying sick in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea into Galilee, he went to him and besought him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Jesus therefore said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you do not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go thy way, thy son lives. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and departed. But even as he was now going down, his servants met him and brought word saying that his son lived. He asked them, therefore, the hour in which he had got better. And they told him, yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. The father knew then that it was at that very hour in which Jesus had said to him, thy son lives. And he himself believed and his whole household. Thus far the words of the Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, St. Paul, in his epistle to the Ephesians today, could quite literally have addressed what he says in the epistle to our current times and situation. This is a perfect example of how sacred scripture is alive and relevant to every time and place. In the nine verses prior to what we read today, St. Paul is exhorting the Ephesians to live in the light of Christ and be on guard not to fall back into the darkness of ignorance from which they were rescued prior to being given the truth of Christ. He picks up today saying, Watch carefully then how you live, not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. In our lifetime, I think it is safe to say that there is no one here today who has experienced being persecuted for their faith in America, and therefore we have lived a comfortable Christianity. It seems as if those times are coming to an end. More and more, our society is becoming hostile towards Christians and Catholics in particular. We need only to look at the past week's Senate confirmation hearings for the vacant seat on the Supreme Court to see how anti-Catholic bigotry was on full display with impunity. So what do we do to combat this display of hatred for our faith? Should we run and hide, concede to the culture and water down the faith, stay quiet and hope things turn around, give up? The answer to all of these is not only no, but never. St. Paul tells us we are not to run and hide and self-medicate with drinking and debauchery, etc., as he says in the epistle. We are to be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing always and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. Now more than ever, our faith must be intentional. As I have said in the past, and I heard once someone say this, casual Christians become casualties. Let me repeat that. Casual Christians become casualties. What we must do now is to focus most intently on loving God and loving our neighbor. Now is the time for us to dig deep into the soil of our faith. Now is the time for us to read and study our faith so as to grow more intimately in our relationship with Christ and to pray like never before, 
as if the world depended on our prayers. And we must do all of this with overflowing joy. Because if we do not have the peace and joy of the Lord ourselves, how do we expect to convince the world that Jesus Christ is the only Lord and Savior, and that there is no other way to get to heaven than to become one of his disciples? You may be thinking, but Father, this is difficult. Of course it's difficult. If it were easy, everyone would be doing it. It's difficult, but it's not impossible. And it is possible only through him who has saved us and called us to go and make disciples of the nations. As we go about our work this week in the Lord's vineyard, let us stop and take stock of our own relationship with the Lord and where it may be lacking. And then let us ask the Holy Spirit, who was given to us at our baptism and confirmation, to enlighten us and help us to convert those areas where we may be weak, so that we may not be an obstacle to spreading the good news of the gospel. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Dominus secula seculorum, Dominus vobis cum, Sursum corda, Gratias agamus Domino Deo nostrum, Veri dignum et justum es ecum et salutare nos tibi semper et publicae gratias adre, Domine sancte patre omnipotente perne Deus, qui cum unigenito filio tuo, et spiritus sancto, unus est Deus, unus est Dominus, non in unis singularitate personae, sed in unis trinitate substantiae, quod enem de tua gloria revelante te credimus, hoc de filio tuo, hoc de spiritus sancto, sine differentia discretionis segnimus, ut in confessione vere sempiternatque deitatis, et in personis proprieta, et in essentia unica, et in maestate adore tuor, e qualitas, quam laudat angeli atque archangeli, cherubum quoque ac seraphim, qui non cessant femare quotidie, una voce dicentes, Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sarovum, Plenitum Celia Terra Gloria Tua Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus qui veni in nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis.
No be spoke with my Catholics. Per omnia secula seculorum, oremus, precepti salutaribus monis et divine institutione formati, ad nemos dicere, Pater noster qui est in celis, sanctifice per nomen tua, ad neniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra, pana nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et divite nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculorum, Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Agnus Dei Picolis Peccata Mundi, Miserere Nobis. Agnus Dei Picolis Peccata Mundi, Miserere Nobis. Agnus Dei Pitolis Peccata Mundi, Dona Nobis Pacem. Domine non sub dignus, Domine non sub dignus, Domine non sub dignus,
Dominus Bobis Cum. Oremus. Ut Sacris Domine Redamor, Digne Munerimus, Pagnos Quetumus, Tui Semper, Obitere Mandati, Per Dominum Nostrum Jesum Christum Filium Tum, Qui Teca Viva Reina Benedictus Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per Omnia Secula Seculorum. Dominus Bobiscum, Ite Messias, Benedica vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, Initium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Iovanum. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apud Deum, et Deus erat verbum. Hoc erat in principio apud Deum, omnia per ipsum facta sum, et sine ipso factum est nihil, quod factum est in ipso vita era, et vita era lux homine, et lux in tenebris luce, et tenebre eam non comprehenderum, puio homo emises ad Deo, qui nomen era Ioannis, hic venit in testimonium ut testimonium prehibere de lumine, ut omnes credit per de lum, non era ille lux, sed ut testimonium prehibere de lumine, Era lux vera que illuminat omnem hominem tenientem in hoc mundum. In mundo era et mundus per ipsum factus est, et mundus eam non coniove, in propria penit, et sui eam non recuperunt, quod potatem recuperunt eam. Dedit eus potestatem filius dei fieru. Quis qui credunt in nomine eus, qui non ex sanguinibus neque ex voluntate carnes, neque ex voluntate viri, sed ex Deo nate sunt, et verbum caro factum est, et habitavi de nobis, et dignus gloriam eius, gloriam quasi unigeniti a patre, plenum gratiae et veritatis. Pray. 
And thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus. Now the prayer in times of epidemic. Let us pray. Thou safe, vouch safe to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God, and ever virgin, of thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath, and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, in our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing, as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee, and graciously turn away the epidemic of the plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation, and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 